Hey. No, I didn't put my teeth in. So, I'm waiting for my coffee to make, which means I'm pacing around. <coughs> yeah, I had something to say and I immediately forgot it. Somebody bought me some paper whites. Here, I'll pull the tag. I'm not going to pull the plant because it's a planter. But they bought me some of these. That was nice. One of the guys Michael works with because I'm always sending them food. Because, you know, I do that. Anyway, he sent that back. That was really nice. The hubby got exposed to COVID on December 9th at work. It's not in the newspaper, but they're having a bit of an ish. Um, mostly because the supervisor told the person that if they hadn't been tested yet, they could still go to work until they get tested and get told they're positive. So we have the calendar written out. They did not send everybody home to quarantine for 14 days because they decided that everybody's been exposed. We'll see. As near as I can tell from everything I've studied, I am not a candidate for the current inoculations, current vaccines. Because people with anosphatic allergies aren't supposed to take it. People with immune problems aren't supposed to take it. And I got well-meaning friends on my Facebook saying things like, well, if they won't take the vaccine, then they deserve to die, talking about anti-vaxxers without realizing that they're putting me and, and several of my friends and many of my friends into the same category. And I am just unfollowing person after person after person that I like that says something like that. Do you see that? Okay, it feels like a soft, squishy spot. It's an actual feeling. You can feel where it's at, okay? You can feel it. It's gross. Anyway, my throat hurts. Anyway, so December 9th exposure. I gotta get the calendar. Means that. By the 19th, we'll know if he's been exposed. But if he has been, well, he has been exposed, but we'll know if he's contagious. If he is contagious, then his contagious window starts somewhere three days before symptoms. And there's no telling when symptoms. And half of the guidelines out there say 14 days, and half of the guidelines out there say 10 days. And I'm going to say 14 days because let's be cautious. And I won't know until he gets sick, if he gets sick. And he could be exposed and be asymptomatic and still be contagious. And I have not left the house but once since February 27th. It's kind of really annoying. And the person who did the exposures is somebody who's very, very careful and very, very cautious. But his father wasn't. And, yeah. Chances are it'll be nothing. Chances are. Chances are the whole country's on a massive upswing. And when I first started my worst case scenario group, if you're not in it, you might want to be in it. Let me know on Facebook. But when I first started it, I did some math. And my best case scenario, with the numbers that were available back in March, April, my best case scenario said three to 500,000 deaths within the year. We've passed 300,000. We're going to hit 500,000 because we're going to really go high. That might take until February, but it's still, that's the year. My worst case scenario said millions. A very good friend of ours, Doc Moriarty, who, that's not his legal name, old school punk rocker out of Ireland, 
called me on my numbers and said I might want to check my math. It, it seemed like my best case scenario should be the worst case scenario from everything he's seeing and blah, blah, blah. And he since died of COVID. Okay. Now, mind you, he was in chemo, so he was highly susceptible. But he died in a city that only had 19 deaths. Okay. Copy. You can track my progress on coffee on the day on the spoon. Because I don't put a spoon in my first cup. I put a spoon in my second or third cup. In anticipation of putting cocoa in my cup later. I have another acquaintance who was a marathon runner who contracted COVID in April. Was pretty damn sick for a little while. Got better. And has been told this week that he needs can he has congestive heart failure and they're putting in a wire to stabilize his beat and putting him on the transplant list. Okay. I already have congestive heart failure. I'm not looking forward to this. Anyway, that wasn't what I was gonna talk about. It really wasn't. I was going to talk about the fact that I'm going to buy a binder this week, but that's a totally different subject all of a sudden. And it's been six, seven minutes, and my coffee's done, and given a choice between talking to my dear friends who show up versus drinking my coffee with sore throat, the coffee is winning really fast. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>